hello friends welcome to bhimanyu is we are here for a, a brief discussion on some important elements of upsc interview i am praveen bansal chief mentor of bhimanyu is we are preparing candidates for interview for the last 25 years now and uh, with lot of experiences and things i want to share few things you have appeared in the mains examination and uh, this is the right time to be preparing for the interview in full blow right now there are few things which i will share which will uh, help you to understand the importance of what i'm saying that the right time to prepare for interview is now not after your result right dekhiye when it comes to upsc interview the board is highly illustrious knowledgeable intellectual and they are judging you primarily on two points first your verbal and then second is your non verbal aspects matlab aap yahan bol rahe ho jo bol rahe ho usse aapko judge kar rahe hain my i always have say that jo aap bol rahe ho it is not only answers hmm how you are saying your answer kis tarah ke words aap use kar rahe ho kuch words avoided avoid karne answer may be correct but some words you have not used rightly and the way you structure your answer and the way you address the question asked but whatever you speak they are judging you on the basis of your speech so that has to be taken care of second is your non verbal aspect that is your gestures your head movement your body movement body language your hand movement your leg movement your facial minute expressions right now all these non verbal things they judge and you are also given marks on the basis of that right because see whenever somebody ask you a question before you start speaking your face starts speaking your body starts speaking right aap answer dete ho to dekhne wale ko ye pata lag sakta hai ki aap is answer ko ब्लफ मार रहे हो इस आंसर में या यू रियली नो दी आंसर बाई योर जस्ट सो इट्स यू पी एस सी इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन फॉर मी इज टू नॉट जस्ट प्रिपेयरिंग आंसर टू फ्यू क्वेश्चन राइट बट द आर्ट ऑफ यू पी एस सी इंटरव्यू इज टू प्रिपेयर यू इन माइन्यूट इंट्रिकेसिस ऑफ योर वर्बल एंड योर नॉन वर्बल राइट सो दैट वट एवर यू स्पीक इन यू पी एस सी दैट इज टेकन इन अ करेक्ट परस्पेक्टिव एंड वट एवर हाउ यू प्रजेंट योर सेल्फ इन द इंटरव्यू इज ऑल्सो वेरी emphatic right so uh, that was the main important thing iske ilawa dekhiye teen dimensions hain jo main leta hu once i train students for upsc interview and i will be discussing giving a series of talks on this upsc inter interview and hope you will be benefited by it this verbal and non verbal dimension is one sabko pata hai aapko and you might have uh, understood also but इसको ध्यान से समझिए जो मैंने बात बताई है कि वर्बल क्या है और नॉन वर्बल क्या है यू पी एस सी इंटरव्यू डेफिनेटली कुछ क्वेश्चन का आंसर देना नहीं है ये हमें समझना पड़ेगा अब देखिए जब भी आपका चाहे आपका नॉन वर्बल है और इट इज वर्बल इट एक्चुअली इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स राइट तीन तरह से हम इसको मैनिपुलेट uh, करते हैं इन तीन तरह से आपका आपके पर्सनैलिटी में हम इसको देखते हैं वन इज दी कॉन्शियस डोमेन जो वर्बल आंसर आप दे रहे हो जिस तरह से दे रहे हो कॉन्शियसली दे रहे हो बड़ा मतलब यू नो वॉट यू एग्जैक्टली यू आर सेंग यू नो एग्जैक्टली वट यू आर सेंग आप यू आर डूइंग नॉन वर्बल इन द नॉन वर्बल डोमेन यू नो दैट यू आर नाउ रेजिंग योर हैंड यू नो योर हैड इज मूवमेंट यू नो यू आर मेक ट्राइंग टू मेक कॉन्टेक्ट विद ऑल दैट इज योर कॉन्शियस नॉन वर्बल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंटरव्यू conscious answering that you know what you are saying but in true is not all about these things what consciously you are saying what consciously you are behaving is one dimension only apart from this bahut sari aisi cheeze hoti hain jo aapko khud nahi pata aap kar rahe ho last the third domain is unconscious domain ki aap koi cheez aisi kar rahe ho jiska aapko malum hi nahi hai जिसका आपको मालूम नहीं है कि आप कर रहे हो लेकिन स्टिल यू आर डूइंग दैट चाहे वो नॉन वर्बल में है चाहे वर्बल में है समटाइम्स वी यूज सर्टन वर्ड्स अनकॉन्शियसली ऑब्वियसली सर दिस इज द थिंग बेसिकली सर दिस इज द थिंग बेसिकली दिस बेसिकली दिस बेसिकली दिस आई हैव सीन कैंडिडेट्स 
uttering such words and when I asked them that you have used this word eight times in your mock interview, he says, no, sir, I don't recall. I'm not aware that I have ever used this term. This is very objectionable. I can know this is true. And then sometimes he, uh, uh, in, in my history of this preparation, there was one candidate who uh, basically uh, was smiling when a, a question on roids or poverty was asked. So we later on after the uh, interview told her that why you are smiling? See, this is a serious question. She said, no, sir, I'm not aware that I was smiling. I was very serious from inside. But on the face, the expression of smile was coming. So all these things have to be taken care of. Now, if the question on right is asked and you are smiling, you cannot get marks. Forget about it. If a, there is a serious question, your face expression has to be serious. That is what a human angle is uh, all about. That is what a, a concerned angle is all about. So one is the conscious domain, other is the unconscious domain, and third is the subconscious domain. See, I'm not going into a, although I'm a student of sociology as well as, to, but I, I'm not going into the tech, uh, precise uh, technical conceptual meaning of these terms. I'm just using it for my purpose for preparing you for the interview, right? And the third domain is the subconscious domain. That is the domain which is created out of your past experiences which you have learned, which you have experienced, and which influence your, what you speak. Now, subconscious influences your opinions, your actions, right? Uh, reflexes also, but these are between conscious and unconscious, right? So, ab isme kuch aise aap answer dete ho, jo aapke kuch previous experiences se influenced hote hain. So, that is our task uh, to transform the subconscious, agar usme kuch garbar hai, to conscious domain, right? और अगर अनकॉन्शियस में कुछ गड़बड़ है आपके जो आप कर रहे हो उसको कंट्रोल करना बाय सम काउंटर एक्शंस वो एक आपको टेक्निक सीखनी पड़ती है इट्स इजी इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट इट्स ऑल अबाउट थिंकिंग इन दिस मैनर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट व्हाट इज इन ट्रू वंस वी से दैट जस्ट जस्ट अ ब्रॉडर थिंग दैट वन जस्ट टू इंड्यूस यू इनटू द प्रिपरेशन टू टेक यू टू द जर्नी ऑफ यूपीएससी इनटू प्रिपरेशन राइट सो दैट वाज अ स्मॉल टॉक फॉर मी I felt like just delivering that uh, all of you might be might have been tired after appearing in the mains and might be relaxing a bit but now it's a time to get up and start preparing for interview in a very uh, positive manner so our menu is always there to help you to prepare for the interview we have on our abipedia platform on upsc general studies we have opened up a platform for uh, you can upload your personalized you, you can upload your daf on that and we will provide you a personalized question bank. We will provide you probable openings uh, from the areas from which your opening can, uh, be, can start. So you can upload their, your biota there. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe this uh, channel so that uh, you can keep on getting uh, my alerts for this uh, UPSC interview, right? So you can write a personalized question bank. You can write an online or offline mock. And we can judge you on all these angles and we can provide you some meaningful feedback of getting more marks in the interview, right? Thank you very much. Best of luck. Keep preparing. Thank you.